Okay, so as you all know, we here at Cedar Point have many great coasters, but the public wants us to name them so they have some iconography. I don't know what iconography means, but okay. Right, so Jeff, you have this inverted coaster. What do you want to call it? How about Raptor? I don't know. I think Universal's already making a roller coaster themed to Raptors. No, no, no. A Raptor is a bird of prey. And this roller coaster gives a flying sensation. Okay, that's pretty good then. Robert, what did you think of for this other suspended coaster? I was thinking of Iron Dragon. Iron Dragon, now that's an awesome name. Johnny and Donnie, you two had this twin racing coaster, what were you thinking? Gemini. Gemini. Nice, since Gemini is the constellation for twins, pretty clever. Kyle, what did you have for this launch coaster? We were thinking about a horse theme. How about... Sagittarius? I'm not sure about that. Not long enough? No, it's too long. Dang, I thought the constellation names were like a free pass. Okay, how about... Mavericks! I like that one, Mason, how'd you come up with it? What? I was just watching a basketball game on my phone. Do you normally shout the team name randomly? Yes. Okay, then we're on a roll, guys. Kevin, what do you have for this one with the corkscrews? Oh, um... Um... Corkscrew. Seriously? That's the most uncreative name out there. It works, doesn't it? Yeah, but nobody's going to like that. Well, nobody's going to like the ride, so it works. Okay, you got me there. I'll let that one slide, but the rest of these need to be great. Mark. What did you come up with for this wing coaster near the front gate in the parking lot? I thought of Parking Lot Keeper. That's pretty long and boring. I like that keeper idea though, so let's call it Gatekeeper. I don't know, maybe we should just wing it for the rest of these. You're fired. Ugh! Yep, so Val, what do you have for this orange dive coaster? How about Raven? That's already a ride at Holiday World, think of something more original to you. How about... Val Raven, named after myself. Okay, so V A L R A V E N. Wait, where are you getting the E from? That's how you spell Raven. No, this ride is V A L R A V N. Val Raven? No, no, no. It's pronounced like Raven, but spelled without the E. Why? Here is an origin story. Ravens are scavengers. So one raven went out and stole the letter E from the word Raven. So it is the Vowel Raven. Huh? Wait, is the ride called Vowel Raven now? No, I want it to be named after me, so we'll keep it as Vel. I don't know about that backstory. Instead, let's say an evil death bird of mythology wants to take over Cedar Point. Yeah, and then we can turn it into a mediocre mobile app game. Didn't I fire you? But yeah, I like that, you're unfired. Woohoo! So, Millie, you had this giant blue roller coaster. What should we call it? Well, since Vel got a ride named after him, I want to call this one Millie. I'm not sure about that. Maybe we can give it a longer name that YouTube commenters can shorten to Millie? Okay, so Millimeter, Millipede, Millionaire, Milleravi. Definitely not that last one. We don't want any financial errors of a million or more. What about Millennial? Millennial Coaster? That's great. Wait, that could be seen as offensive to some. Plus, there's no way we can afford the theming for that one. Okay, Mark. We can call it Millennium Forceless. Wait, I don't want a ride to be forceless in the name. Isn't this ride forceful? No, not at all. But we can call it Millennium Force just to make you feel better, Millie. Fine. Okay, so, Frank, what do you have for this red 200-foot coaster? Oh, oh, yeah, um, I have a great name for that, totally, yeah. Great, what is it? It's, um, Magnum. Did you get that from the ice cream you're holding? What? No way. We need to put more effort into these guys. Add something to emphasize the ride's size. How about Magnum XL 200? because the ride is 200 feet tall. It's actually 205 feet. We should call it Magnum XL 205. I suggest we put five at the end of some Giga Coasters at Kings Dominion and Carowinds instead. Sounds good. So George, you had this mine ride that goes over Cedar Creek. What name do you have? I think it's pretty obvious. Runaway Mine Train. That's already a Six Flags name. Well, if it's a mine ride at Cedar Creek, it should be called Seven Dwarves Mine Train. No way, do you want to get us sued? Let's just call it Cedar Creek Mine Ride and move on. So, Ryan, you had the stand-up coaster. What do you have as a name? I was thinking Banshee. Banshee, okay, that's cool. Wait, Banshees don't stand. They're ghosts. They fly. Let's call it something cool like Mantis. Okay, fine. Okay, I've just been told that Mantis is going to be turned into a floorless coaster. What should we call it? I think that dog just said Rougarou and I love that idea. That's a terrible name, what does it even mean? I think it's probably some French werewolf, but whatever. Moving on, Dan, you had this giant launch coaster that goes 120 miles per hour. What do you have? 
Okay, so I thought of Red Force. I don't know about that one. It seems more like a name you would see at a Spanish theme park. It does? Yeah, so let's call this one Top Thrill Dragster. Okay, whatever. Are we almost done? We've been here for like 15 hours. Don't worry, only like four more. So Jack, you had this giant wooden coaster? Right, I came up with Mean Streak. Meme Streak? No, Mean Streak. Because you will leave the ride with a mean streak along your back from all the roughness. Ugh, is that true? Probably. Okay, so Jack, you also had this other blue wooden coaster. Do you have a name for that? How about Blue Streak? Pretty lazy, but whatever. Hello? I see. What was that call about? Well, Stevie, Mean Streak is going to be RMC'd. What does that mean? Well, Stevie, RMC is a company that takes wooden coasters and gives them steel tracks with new layouts. Now we need to rename Mean Streak. What are other RMCs called? The names usually contain the words Twisted, Iron, or Cyclone, and also keep most of the original name. Iron Streak, Twisted Streak, Streak Cyclone, Iron Mean Streak, Iron Mean Streak. I just said that. Mean Streak Gwazi, New Mean Streak Giants, Millie, Mean Streak Golden Lasso Coaster, Mean Streak XL 200, Steel Streak. I actually kind of like that one. Wait, since Millie got a coaster named after him, let's call it Stevie. Once again, we should make Stevie an abbreviation for YouTube commenters. I've got a great name then. Steel Vengeance. Say what? Well, once a sleepy whistle stop, found it once the Iron Horse made his way westward. You know what? I don't want to hear the full origin story. Let's just say the ride is now Steel and once Vengeance on Maverick because it was better than Mean Streak. Okay, fine but I want my full origin story on signs in the queue line. That works, then we can try to pass that off as theming. Okay, we have two kitty coasters, so let's just slap some random names on those. Percy, what should we call this one in front of Gemini? How about Junior Gemini? I agree, Wilderness Run is a great name. That's not what I said. Alex, you had this one themed to Woodstock. How about Woodstock Express? Okay, whatever, that's good. Martin, what do you want to call this blue one that goes back and forth? That's not a roller coaster. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Let's just call it Pipe Scream for no reason and move on. This is the final one. Tony, what should we call this yellow dangle coaster? I was thinking Twisted Sister. I think we probably would get sued if we used that name. Dang, I like that name. I guess you're not going to take it. You're fired. You realize I'm Tony Clark, right? Oh, my bad, Mr. Stark. We'll use that name, but just change it to call it Wicked Twister. What was that call? You should go outside and see for yourself.